The theory of prehistoric cosmic detonation is generally acknowledged by most researchers as the essential clarification for the origins of the universe, enveloping the production of stars, planets, and all life, including us. Notwithstanding its fairly unconventional name, the term Big Bang appropriately captures the immensity of the occasion. At first, the universe was a thick assortment of particles pressed into a space smaller than a pinhead. From this minute point, an enormous blast of matter happened, known as the Big Bang. This concisely sums up the interaction that unfolded over billions of years. However, regardless of the persevering fame of the theory of how things came to be, progressions in scientific knowledge have progressively challenged its predictions. When NASA sent off the James Webb Space Telescope, the largest and most advanced space observatory to date, scientists speculated that its observations would reinforce the theory of prehistoric cosmic detonation. Unfortunately, after only one year in space, the telescope has dumbfounded researchers with its momentous capabilities, giving extraordinary looks into the universe's past. The James Webb Telescope's disclosures have revealed systems so old that they might actually reshape how we interpret the universe's origins. This unexpected disclosure has sparked intense interest among researchers and fans alike. One such noteworthy disclosure came when stargazer Rohan Natu, analyzing early pictures from the James Webb Telescope, accidentally found a system that surprised everyone. This universe, named Glass Z13, seemed mysteriously gigantic and traced all the way back to only a short time after the Big Bang, making it older than any previously noticed world. Nata's energy was tangible as he imparted the revelation to partners on the planet, describing it as beyond anything astronomers could ever imagine. The James Webb Telescope, positioned far from natural impedance and furnished with state-of-the-art innovation, was intended to dive into the universe's earliest age, known as the Grandiose Sunrise. This period, covered in mystery, denotes the formation of the universe's most memorable stars and worlds. By examining systems from this period, Researchers hope to refine how they interpret major cosmic cycles like the impact of matter and dark energy. Initial assumptions for the James Webb Telescope's discoveries were humble, expecting a couple of weak far-off universes. However, the reality surpassed all projections. The telescope's pictures revealed systems of amazing development, challenging existing models and provoking a whirlwind of examination. As researchers continue to dissect the James Webb Telescope's data, the ramifications of these revelations could be significant, introducing a new era of cosmological comprehension. The surprising disclosures from this noteworthy observatory offer a tempting look into the universe's past, driving humanity's journey to unravel the secrets of existence. As early systems materialized, scholars and spectators ended up in a scramble to make sense of them. Might this gathering of oddly enormous and bright early worlds ever be fanciful? perhaps due to flaws in the examination of the telescope's initial perceptions? Or, if authentic, might they somehow be accommodated with standard cosmological models? Quite possibly, were they the main means that the universe is stranger and more complex than our boldest speculations had assumed? The question isn't anything less than how we might interpret how the precise universe we know arose out of early-stage confusion. The early disclosures from the James Webb Space Telescope can possibly revise the initial parts of Grandio history. These sections concern far-off ages in distant systems as well as our own presence here in the natural smooth manner. As Mark McCarran, a senior counselor for science and investigation at the European Space Office involved with JWST, commented, You build these machines not to affirm the worldview but to break it. You just don't have the foggiest idea how it will break. In a way, JWST's perceptions of early universes have been billions of years truly taking shape. Nonetheless, more unobtrusively, they trace back to the Space Telescope Science Foundation in 1985. Around then, the Hubble Space Telescope was as yet five years from send-off. However, the establishment's then-chief, Ricardo Jan, requested that his group begin contemplating what might come after Hubble, a lot further away. Regardless of initial fights about zeroing in on Hubble, Jan was tenacious, predicting the extensive development process. Guy Linger, then deputy overseer of SD Sky, alongside a small group, began drafting thoughts for what in the end turned into the Cutting Edge Space Telescope, later renamed JWST. They perceived that while Hubble would be groundbreaking, 
its capabilities would be restricted by its perceptions in noticeable light. The NGST, on the other hand, would see in the infrared range, permitting it to enter further into the universe. The need for JWST turned out to be much more obvious in December 1995, when cosmologists directed the Hubble Deep Field Perception. In spite of assumptions for finding a couple of faint cosmic systems, the subsequent picture uncovered a huge number of worlds extending back more than 12 billion years into the universe's set of experiences. After over 20 years of improvement and at an expense of around $1 billion, JWST was at long last sent off on Christmas Day 2021. The telescope went through thorough testing prior to arriving at its profound space objective a month after the fact. By July 2022, it was prepared to begin its hotly anticipated first year of science perceptions, known as Cycle 1. Some portion of JWST's initial mission was given to high-impact programs, including the Astronomical Evolution Early Release Science Survey and the GRIS Focal Point Amplified Overview from Space, both pointed toward revealing insight into the secrets of the early universe. As stargazers openly gave endless hours to scanning separate patches of the sky, looking for early universe cosmic systems, they at first expected modest discoveries, similar to a more detailed variant of the Hubble Deep Field. In any case, they were in for a shock. Stephen Finn Lin from the College of Texas at Austin, driving the SE project, makes sense that very far-off systems were supposed to arise solely after numerous information cycles from different projects. However, to cosmologists' wonder, these universes showed up very quickly. Previously, the record for the most far-off known system had a place with GNZ-11, seen in 2015 with a redshift of 11. Redshift measures the expanding of light because of the universe's expansion, with a higher value demonstrating greater distance. Yet, from the very beginning of glass perceptions, two separate groups, including one led by Rohan Natu, independently recognized glass Z13 with a redshift of 13, driving the enormous timetable back significantly further. In their scramble for quick results, specialists depended on worked on techniques for redshift assessment, based on brilliance estimations rather than additional time-intensive direct estimations. In spite of their effortlessness, these evaluations uncovered worlds suddenly brilliant and enormous, some previously flaunting a heavenly mass equaling a billion suns, much like our own. The energy didn't stop there. In the subsequent days, numerous universe competitors from soothsayers and glass emerged, some with redshift gauges as high as 20, demonstrating they existed only a short time after the enormous detonation. These worlds showed circle-like designs not expected in such early astronomical ages. Furthermore, another group found proof of smooth waste systems at a redshift of 10, under 500 million years after the enormous detonation. Such a fast rise of sizable universes challenges the expectations of the standard cosmological model Lambda Cold Dark Matter. To grasp this oddity, a brief return to early universe elements is fundamental. In the initial minutes after the enormous detonation, the universe was a hot, thick soup of early stage particles. Over the long haul, as the universe extended and cooled, helium and other light components framed, prompting the presence of the principal iotas around 400,000 years after the fact. Approximately 100 million years after the enormous detonation, Conditions became helpful for the development of the principal stars, made essentially out of hydrogen and helium. These early stars, bigger and more splendid than current stars, amassed into proto-worlds directed by the gravitational draw of dim matter. However, JWST's revelation challenges this model, as it uncovers splendid, sizable cosmic systems far sooner than anticipated. Stacy M. From Case Western Reserve College noticed the startling shortfall of numerous more modest protogalactic parts, suggesting that some notice systems might be closer than assumed, hidden by dust seeming dimmer and more far off. The discovery of the early worlds brings up significant issues about the universe's early stages, highlighting the need for continued investigation and revision of our cosmological models. Follow-up perceptions of Glass Z13 in August 2022 by the Atacama Large Millimeter Array in Chile cast uncertainty on the underlying discoveries. Regardless of the utilization of brilliance-based estimations, ALMA didn't recognize critical measures of residue associated with Glass Z13. As P. Tom B. from Goya College, who drove the perceptions, said, this suggests that low-redshift intruders can be excluded. 
but ALMA attempted to recognize the universe by any means. This highlights the test of affirming perceptions made utilizing JWST's high capabilities. Rohan Natu, one of the specialists in question, brought up the incongruity of the circumstance, expressing, The uplifting news is there's nothing identified, he said. The terrible news is there's nothing identified. To just JWST fit for circling back to its own perceptions, the most frightening clarification could be that the standard LCDM cosmological model requires updating. Michael Bohan Cullen, a cosmologist, communicated the size of this potential change in outlook, expressing, These outcomes are extremely astonishing and difficult to get in our standard model of cosmology. It would be a genuine insurrection to comprehend. One questionable proposition is changed Newtonian elements, which challenges the existence of dark matter. JWST's perceptions could lend backing to MOND, proposed by Mark McCarran. Although the need for such changes is debated, JWST's discoveries point to significant uncertainties in our comprehension of the universe's beginnings. JWST's investigation of early cosmic systems could address this long-standing challenge by refining our understanding of the universe's origin and evolution. As Nada puts it, the discoveries are now causing debate and stirring excitement in cosmology. It's an indication that JWST is accomplishing precisely the thing we expected, challenging and expanding our comprehension of the universe. As JWST proceeds with its mission, the implications for cosmology and our place in the universe will undoubtedly be profound. The journey to unravel the universe's beginnings is far from over. The early revelations from this groundbreaking observatory offer a tantalizing glimpse into the universe's past, driving humanity's quest to uncover the mysteries of existence.